Hi everyone and welcome to this week's Arrange Your Own video. I'm Hannah and today we have a nice garden arrangement for you to make, which is really fun and I'm really into gardens right now so I thought I would give you some fun varietals like this beautiful white Dutch kale and I'll tell you a little bit more about him later. And also an artichoke. You always think that food has to stay on your table but it can go in your arrangements as well have Aspidistra to go with it, this wonderful bear grass that's white on one side, green on the other, gives you a little bit of option, beautiful yellow roses, some soft lace flower, it'll take off some of the hard edges of the artichoke, and then orange mukara. So I chose this space because I want to make a nice garden arrangement. I want it to look like I have this layered garden effect. So in order to do that, we're going to start with our softest piece, which is this queen or this lace flower, not Queen Anne's lace. And I'm just going to take them. Sometimes they have some nice laterals. So I'm going to take off the biggest bloom. Place this towards the front because I want it to be a focal. Then any of these extras that are a little bit smaller can just take off some of this little greenery and place it in the back. This is a great way to hold in the rest of the flowers. And then we'll save this one for later. Next, I wanna use a large piece. So this kale is a really big focal as well. But in order to make them shine, you kind of have to do a little work. So what I like to do is roll the kale between my palms and it just opens up the inside a little bit. Then you can just go through and flip the little leaves and it opens it up like a little showy flower, like they're each petals, though they're not. There. Now, just take this and cut the stem and I'm gonna place it right next to our big focal lace flower. There. Then we'll take this nice artichoke. Ooh, it's a little too hefty for a knife. I don't recommend eating these. <laughs> so we'll place our artichoke inside. And we're really getting this nice gardeny herb effect, which is so fun for your kitchen table, especially when you're entertaining. So next, we'll take a yellow rose, and I'm just going to nestle the yellow roses in between our focals. Although they could be a focal themselves, they're taking a little bit of a back seat this time. Ooh, and we lost a rose. <laughs> but we'll move on to the next one. Yeah, they're taking a little bit of a backseat to some of the more exciting varietals, but they're still beautiful. And so I'm just placing them together in a group. Then we'll take this mokara. And when I look at the arrangement, I think since the roses are going this direction, I'm going to add a couple of the mokara in the back to add a little bit of height to the arrangement. And then, to bring a little bit of the orange to the front, I'm going to add one right up here in front of the kale. Perfect. Now make sure the kale is still being facey back there. Next, we'll add our last few pieces of lace flower. And this is just going to kind of bring the whole arrangement together. Perfect. Nestled in between two veggies. Next, we have our accents. So for this, the bear grass, although it's really beautiful, it can be a little bit sharp. So 
I like to just be really careful when I'm doing this, but I'm taking the bear grass and just looping it and looping it again, letting a couple of them come up like the nice grasses that would be in your lawn. And I'm just going to take a little bit of binding wire and bind it all together. And then I really want to accent the artichoke in the front. So just cut off these ends. And then I'm going to place this bear grass right in front next to our artichoke. And it's just going to add a little bit of flair to him. Then you can do a little trimming of the crazy hair that gets, comes out. Then we'll take some of our aspidistra. I just cut the end and then spear between some of the veins to create a nice little loop. And I'm gonna use this to push the kale up forward a little bit more. Do the same with the next. Perfect. There. And now we have our layered garden effect arrangement minus one casualty rose. But perfect. Hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you next week.